Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look how to use a block to pass data to events or the other way to talk about how to pass data to block events. Anyway, so here I have this form as you can see as sign up form. We can submit our email and password. So this is the button. Now as we click on this, this method that's get called. Now you can see that inside this method actually anyway, first we are doing a form validation where there is data or not and after that actually we are calling an event so we know that if you use a block so you could do provider.off and then your block name and then we can just simply call our add method now inside the add method what we do we usually call our events now of course if you're using block you know that you have to create events first so this is what we have done so this is our event now this is the event that i was talking about now this event has a uh, two fields which is email and password so we pass them to the constructor so we understand that if we call this event we have to pass this two properties so anyway from our ui we are calling this event and we are passing the related properties to it now this event actually has connected with our block over here now as you can see so this is our block class which is called auth block now let's take a look so this event name is sign up request so well inside this we have a lot of events so one of the events is sign in request so over here we do see that we have sign up request over here now sign up request well it's an event the same event as we have in our ui now this one as you can see it takes two parameters which is event and image now this event actually holds the data, the data that we send from here. So the event object, this one holds the data. And as it holds the data, as you can see, we can access them here using like this, event.email, event.password, now which is exactly the one we are sending from here. But of course the naming you may say well now here i don't have email as we pass from here right because it's not named parameter it doesn't matter as long as your events has the correct name like email and password in the constructor itself so it would work i mean the same so that's how it actually works so here is our event and uh, we are calling this event.email i mean we are grabbing it and over here event.password so whatever you send from your UI uh, as you add event that event has event object and from event object those data you can grab from the event object of course you have to make sure that in your constructor itself in the event constructor you have the related fields and then you are good to go thank you